It has been longer than I planned since part one. This is because I had planned to do go do boxcars, but I can't access my photos of refrigerated boxcars to put them in the video. So this episode, or video rather, it's not an episode, is on tank cars and gondol and gondolas, two very different types. But that's what I have available for use right now. First is tank cars. I was going to include a photo of an early tank car, but I couldn't save it to my phone for my Facebook profile, so I'm limited to the modern tank cars that I posted on my railroad photography page, Northeast Rail Photography. These I was also limited by not having very much variety of photos available to use. I haven't gotten many of my photos up on the page and I need to use the ones on the page. But there are three commodities shown in this video in a few different sizes. Tank cars vary greatly in size, sometimes only by a few gallons, but vary. In fact, I've seen very few tank cars with the exact same capacity as an identical one right next to it. The tank cars being shown first are used for carrying corn syrup. These are the majority of the ones I have photos of. This is because sweeteners are a major commodity through here with Livonia, Avenue Lake, Gulf Serving Craft Food, Sweeteners Plus, and Archer Daniels Midland. These are in the area of 17,000 to 20,000 gallon tank cars. Of this si tank cars of this size can carry a variety of products. Uh, because, but these specific cars only are for, used for corn syrup. First, we will see Union Tank Car Company 600424, a 43-foot-long, 17,538-gallon model. The springs tell me this car is loaded, destined for one of the three places that received corn syrup on the L&L. &L. Next is STSX 51270, owned by Tate & Lyle Ingredients Americas. This is, is a 43-foot, 1-inch-long, 19,630 gallon model that also happens to be loaded. Next is STSX 4096. It's the same as 51270 with ev in every respect, except it holds 17 gallons less, being a 19,613 gallon tank car. After that, you will see a quite weathered STSX 4703. This is also 43 feet 1 inch long, like 51270 and 4096, but holds 19,686 gallons. Then it's to 61284, which is 43 feet 1 inch long and 19,650 gallons. Then we go back to the Union Tank Car Company for UTLX 66829, which is 43 feet long, same as 600. 424, but is 17,513 gallons versus the 17,538 gallons of 600424. Next is UTLX 600527, which holds 17,590 gallons. Those are all the tank corn syrup tanks I'm putting in this video. Now we go to a much larger tank car, the 30,000 gallon area ones. These are used to haul all sorts of fuels, usually diesel, propane, fuel oil, or gasoline. The ones I'll be showing are used to haul diesel fuel to Rochester on the Rochester and Southern. First, we, first is one owned by General Electric Rail Services, an AHX 6, no, 36030, holds 30,669 gallons. Next is General American Marks Company with, J, with GATX, 21252. This one holds 29,383 gallons. Then GATX 79539, which holds 29,937 gallons. Then 30392, which holds 29,950 gallons.
I have other photos of cars like these, but I think four is enough. Next, we go to the hauling of liquid chemicals. If you look at the lading, lading information stenciled on the side of a tank car, you will see all sorts of very nasty chemicals that you wouldn't want leaking. Acids, ammonias, and other nasty chemicals that are ha hauled in tank cars also. Unfortunately, yeah, I have only gotten one of these accessible. Union Tank Car Company's UTLX 940079. I could not find the capacity of this car or one similar and couldn't read the end data, which is where the capacity is stenciled. However, using the placard number, I can tell you that this is hauling sulfur dioxide. This is a toxic gas, and the car carries two placards, one on the, with a skull and crossbones over toxic gas, and the other is a skull and crossbones over the placard number for sulfur dioxide, 1079. This is a variety of, issue, of uses. Is it, it is a smell produced by a match. It is used to make sulfuric acid, preserve dried fruits, sulfur molasses, and wine. It is also used as a cleaning agent for, oddly enough, wineries. It cleans the winery and preserves the wine. It is used in the textile industry for reducing the bleach in clothes and by the paper industry for doing the same in paper. They also put it in chlorinated wastewater before they release it. As far as toxic, it is definitely not something you want to consume, being mildly, mildly toxic. Hazardous in high concentration, it can also cause problems in low concentration for prolonged periods, and exposure to what is linked to preterm births. Sulfur dioxide is in the car, is in the air we breathe, and is a major pollutant, though the U.S. EPA's acid rain program has reduced it being released by, by the burning of fossil, fossil fuels. It is released by an erupting volcano as well. Tank cars carrying hazardous material, especially flammable materials, must have at least six cars between them and the locomotives, except for unit trains, which have one car, usually loaded with sand. Hazardous materials pills are thankfully rare, but in 2019, approximately 20, 12,000 gallons of sulfuric acid leaked from a derailed tank car in the tunnel owned by Canadian National and takes the trains across the international border into Port Huron, Michigan. It does happen on occasion. That's all for the tank car. Next, we go to the gondola. This is an open car and carries a variety of bulk commodities that will not fit in a box car, but need sides to prevent the load from shifting like it would on a flat car. First will be the GB and GBS class. These are AMG Resources Corporation, AMG X2556, a type E3, E534 gondola. GB class, Southern 65985, now owned by Norfolk Southern, a type G512. Norfolk, Norfolk and Western 189415, a type E5 I-34, that looks very different from the E-534 owned by AMG. Canadian National 135046, also a type E-534, that looks very different from the E... Very, looks that, but slightly different from the NW one. Looks slightly different from the NW one. Joseph's Transportation Incorporated, DJTX 318 150, another type E534 that is slightly lower than the CN1, and finally, Norfolk Southern 202223 and 202329, both GB class type G719. These are actually quite new cars. The E534 type are 52-foot, 6-inch mill gondolas. They are referred to, as, referred to as mill gondolas because they are usually found hauling something having to do with manufacturing steel or steel products. AMG Resources, the owner of the first car, shown as one of the world's largest processors of ferrous and non-ferrous scrap metal. This car, er, since it's not banged up too much, is likely used to haul finished steel made from scrap metal, likely in an electron, electric arc furnace to the customer. There is an electric arc furnace locally, possibly two. The Finger Lakes Railway serves one, and the Rochester and Southern might serve one. They have been shipping an occasional load of new I-beams through the NS interchange lately. 
The DJ TX, NW, and CN ones are all in a, were all in a string of gondolas used to haul scrap. M more from this cut of cars will be shown later in the video. The southern one, the type G512, is a much older design, similar to the E3534 to the Observer being steel with fixed ends, but this one is likely used in maintenance of wave service since although it is in a manifest since although it is in a manifest freight, it is coupled to a Difco side dump car used to deliver riprap and ballast to railroad work sites. This is a car you would likely see hauling new or old cross ties in a work train or being loaded with discarded tie plates, anchors, and spikes after some major work was done to a line. Now, lastly, the Type G719, which were the last low side gondolas. These are at least eight feet longer, being no less than 61 feet long. These are only used for finished steel, specific iron or steel billets. It's a perfect addition for those modeling steel mill. Now, as a bonus here, is some models of gondolas. These you have seen in videos of the temporary layout and we'll see more of in the future. The Canadian Pacific ones are especially going to be seen going to and from the steel mill I am eventually going to be building. Kind of focus. This was built March 1957. It is a 52-foot, 6-inch drop-end gondola. Then we have this one, a April 1922-built Wabash. This is a Walders Proto 2000 model. And Elgin Joliet and Eastern 34655. This is a September 1947 built 40 foot 6 inch. Gondola. That one was also, I think that one's also 40 foot 6 inch. Yes, both of these are 40 foot 6 inch. Them back in the train I was switching earlier. Okay, now on to the next type of gondola, what I refer to as a mid-height gondola. These are around the same length or shorter than the ones I've shown, but are much taller, about twice the height. First you will see one from Sins Hugo Nu that is a GT class J301 type gondola and Everest Railcar Services Incorporated EAMX 5014 of the same class and type. Then Metallico Transport Incorporated MEAX 343040 also identical in class and type. Next is Red Redzidco's UFTX 21025, a GTS class E106 type, and twin 19014. Notice the ends that slope in similar to a covered hopper or an open top hopper. Open top hoppers don't really slope in. I do a little bit. Uh, Next is GRRY 30473 and GRRY 30449. I could not find what GRRY stood for. It is likely a railroad, possibly newer, but the gondola is the same class and type as the two UFTX ones. And finally, we have an oddball that I couldn't find any information on. VWCX 961443. There is no company that I could find with those reporting marks. There is WVCX, which is Mead Westvico Corporation, but the two... But in the two seconds it is on the screen, you should notice it's very similar to the J301 type, but appears to be made of aluminum.
The J301 type is also a mill gondola, actually, and named for the same reason. These are used for the transportation of scrap metal to gather to either a blast furnace or an electric arc furnace to be made into new metal. Several of these are interchanged near my house each week as Rochester and Southern serves Metallico and Rochester, which split the ships out scrap metal, some of which supposedly are some of the covered hoppers featured in part one. In modeling in a scra scrapyard, you should consider having these cars being loaded instead of the lower mill gondolas. Another consideration is the E106 type. These are also haul, haul scrap metal to steel mills to be made in the new steel. Both of these are rotary dump gondolas. The coupler at one end rotates in the box to allow the use of a rotary dumper to unload the car while still connected to the other cars in the cut being unloaded. Now for the last type of gondola I will be showing. These are even taller and longer. Some of these I do not have the class or type of, but these are Cardella Waste Service of New Jersey, CWSX 39875, not positive in the number of it, it's quite worn. CWSX 140068, Coastal Distribution LLC, CDEX 291408, 202155, 1 and 19038. Regis Industries LLC, REGX 6883 and 6801. Murphy Road Recycling LLC, MRRX 4115, also not sure on that number. And CIT Group Capital Finance Incorporated, CITX 349954. These are listed as unknown or GB class G719 type, GTS E307 type, and GTS class E507 type. These are all used in the transportation of garbage and recycling to landfills or processing centers. The ones shown here are empties being taken to the loading areas in New Jersey. There are more uses for gondolas than shown here. They use gondolas for transport of coiled steel, other steel products, pipes, rebar, and contaminated sand from fracking operations. The latter is carried in covered gondolas. The gondola, the gondola, not gondola, is a must for a layout as they are always passed by on the always passing by on the rails. Unfortunately, I could not find evidence of any company making a model of the J301 or E5, E106 gondolas. Someone made a, some of the J301 and Z scale. It appears they printed it. These gondola, gond, gondolas are quite common, and I hope a company makes one soon. They tend to stick to the mill gondolas, the lower ones. There is another type of gondola that I plan on putting in this video, but I was unable to... Unable because... For some reason, Facebook will not display the caption or photo options on pictures after a certain point in an album. These cars are from the bath or the bath gut, bathtub gondolas and top guns used in the transport of coal from mine to customer. Used by Conroe and Norfolk Southern, these are fairly widely available and are easy to come by to model a coal train. They, these can also haul coke, but the cars similar to wood chip hoppers are generally used for transport of that far lighter commodity. This concludes the, the video on tank cars and gondolas. I don't know when I will be able to continue on it with this series. I have a request to bring back the Real Railroad series, but there was not enough interest to justify the work. Maybe when I can live stream, we can cover some stuff on the Real Railroads, but I'm not doing the week's research and typing out something that will get six to nine views, zero to three likes, and an average view duration around three minutes or a, for a 15 to 20 minute video. Uh, I did a test. I filmed, I'm filming this on Monday. I did a test stream from the living room earlier. It worked sort of. It, I did get a couple error messages of unstable uh, internet. Okay, that froze up. As I said, I don't know if you heard this, but uh, I did get an error, a couple of error messages of unstable internet connection. Hmm. 
don't know what that noise is. But hopefully it'll work. I got a clearer space to, because uh, once I stopped Rio Railroads, I filled up the space that I was using for that. And yeah. So I got to clear out of space, and hopefully I'll be streaming next week on Monday at around 3 p.m. It might not be a weekly thing. I don't know. Uh, Monday is when my mom is out of the house teaching music, music lessons. And I well, it would be kind of difficult to live stream with her sitting on the couch right there. Uh, that would be um, very difficult. It would be, if I could stream up here, it would be, I could do it whether she was home or not, because I could just come up here and do it, but we're too close to the metal roof here. I think it's got to be the metal roof, because here I, I can't stream, and down there I possibly can. So, days that she is not around, Mondays when she's not around, that early, I'll do a live stream, maybe we'll talk about trains talk about whatever uh i could bring down the kits i have to put together like this one i could do that downstairs on a table so that's it now i have to edit this and post it so from cp silver springs and the Ruffles Southern Southern Cheer Line, Milepost 368, Tim out.